when in Turkey, you should not do this, the okay sign. You know, while signs can have different meanings and sometimes lead to funny embarrassments, the okay sign is not one of them in Turkey. This would literally be a very grave insult. And you know, so don't do it like me, you know, when the waiter comes and asks you for food, do like, mm, it's delicious, don't do that. Also, don't do this. Now, maybe you have the same game like we have it here in Germany, you know, like where you're like, ah, oh, I have your nose, like don't do this because this literally is the middle finger in Turkey. So if you play this game with kids or anyone, it literally means you showing them the middle finger. Don't worry about clothing, especially in the big cities. The first thing I noticed in Istanbul was dang, the skirts are short. Some of us have this idea of Turkey just being very conservative, but that's not the case, especially for Istanbul and the other big cities. Also, safety does not have to be a concern here. You know, especially the tourist areas are extremely safe, so don't worry about that. The only thing you should worry about is pickpocketers. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't respect the country and their culture. You know, in some areas, especially the rural ones, it is still more conservative. And women will need to cover their hair and shoulders and, you know, not wear a short skirt when visiting the mosque. And men should wear long pants and no tank tops. And I'm looking at you, my British friends. Don't forget to bargain at the markets and bazaars. Now the Grand Bazaar is a popular point of interest and is a perfect place for the tourists to end their Istanbul visit by shopping, you know, for some souvenirs for their friends and families before they leave. Now just don't forget to bargain. It is very normal to haggle at these places and the first price you hear will not be the one that you have to pay, you know, if you do it right. My recommendation is to ask a local of how much the item you want to buy should be. Now you probably will have to pay a bit more because you're a foreigner, but you won't overpay by that much. Don't fall for tourist traps. Now, Turkey is among the top 10 tourist places in the world. And you know what comes with tourists? People who try to scam them, unfortunately. So, and you know, there's too many schemes to tell you all of them, but just use common sense and be aware. Now, one of the biggest is pickpocketers in very touristy areas, like everywhere in the world. And you know, the unmetered taxis. Just make sure it's an official cab and that the meter is running. Otherwise, you know, just say you want to get out. Also for Istanbul, many tourists flock to the typical Turkish ice cream stands to watch the little show. You know, these are super fun to watch, but they're extremely expensive. So, and they don't have a sign, but it can cost up to $4 per cone, sometimes even more when you see you're just a tourist. So, you know, ask beforehand how much it will be so you won't have an unpleasant surprise afterwards. Also, you can go to smaller alleys to find, you know, a more reasonable price stand. The same holds for restaurants, souvenirs, you get the point. Don't think people are not friendly and hospitable. Now, I've heard from many that they were a bit, you know, not afraid, but concerned about Turkish people, thinking they just would rip them off. And this is absolutely not the case. Turkey is one of the most hospitable countries I've ever been, you know. Be ready for friendly people who will want to just make sure you have a fantastic time. I mean, numerous times I've had people just come up to me, you know, bring me a chai and just started a chat. And there were restaurants who even fed me. Now, these things usually don't happen in the very typical tourist places. So I recommend you, you know, to go where the locals go, go a bit out of your comfort zone because that's really where you have all those cool experiences. Don't forget to learn hello and thank you. Now, you know, this is everywhere you go. It's, it's a form of respect to learn at least hello and thank you in the language of the country you're visiting. Now, especially in Turkey, people will be delighted to see that, you know, you made the effort. For hello, you can say mehaba, and for thank you, you can say teşekkür ederim. Now, to be a total expert, you can say kolagazin when you leave a place, which kind of means like, take it easy, you know, people will be blown away by your Turkish skills. This is for all you couples. Don't engage in excessive PDA. Even though Turkey is not as conservative as some of you think, there is still certain cultural aspects that are different. One of these things is kissing in front of other people. Now, it's okay to give your partner, you know, a smooch, but avoid hardcore making out session in public. It is just not seen as polite and no one probably will say something, but it might make people very uncomfortable. And, you know, as said, it's not a part of Turkish culture to make out outside. So just be respectful. Don't go to the wrong airport in Istanbul. Most of you guys will end up there. That's why it's important. Don't go to the wrong airport because be aware there is two airports. Well, that's wrong. Actually, there is three airports. There's the Atatürk airport, which is in the middle of the city and connected to the metro. So when you know, look, you look at the metro, you look, oh yeah, there's the airport, but no flights go from there. You know, it's shut down just for some, I don't know. They use it for some other things, but not commercial flights. So don't make the mistake of heading there. There will be just taxis waiting for you. Happy that, you know, you made the mistake and now you have to use them and they can overcharge you because otherwise you won't, you won't catch your flight. 
Now, as well, there's two big airports in Turkey, one on the east side, one on the west side. So um, just make sure you go to the right one because they are very far apart from each other, about an hour. So if you go to the wrong airport, you will probably miss your flight. If you're lucky and you get to visit a home, don't refuse any food given to you or tea. You know, you might be full and not all that hungry, but at least eat a little bit of it. If they ask you, um, you know, if you're hungry and you're really not, it's okay to say no. But if they give you the food without asking, it's customary to take it. Turkish hospitality is a huge thing and by refusing it, some people might find it a little insulting, even if you don't mean to be insulting. Don't wear shoes in worship places. Now, if you decide to visit a mosque and you know there's plenty of beautiful ones like the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque in, in Istanbul, you will see many racks where people put their shoes. Now it is important you take off your shoes and don't step on the carpet with your shoes on, as this would be considered very rude. So either put your shoes in the rack or you know you can just carry them in your hand, put them in the backpack. I mean nobody will steal them when they're in front of the in front of the mosque, so I always say put them there, that's the easiest. Don't blow your nose loudly. Now this is considered extremely rude. If you need to blow your nose, excuse yourself and go to the toilet to do so. Now if your nose is tingling and you need to, you know, blow your nose, do it like this. You know, just without the sound, that's, that's okay, just don't blow your nose. Don't forget to tip. Now tips are generally modest in Turkey and it's a small percent of the price paid. In most cases you cannot include the tip on a credit card charge, so you should tip you know, in cash, and in most cases hand a tip directly to the person who has served you. For taxi drivers, you don't need to tip, you just round the fare upwards to a convenient amount. You know, for example, the fare is 19.7 Turkish Lira, you just round up to 20. In inexpensive restaurants, you know, small tips like 5% are not necessary, but you know, it's appreciated. In luxury restaurants, you know, you should tip 10%. When you visit a Turkish bath, or you know, hammam, and at the end of your bath, all the attendants, and there will be quite a lot of them, will line up to bid you goodbye, you know, and they expect a tip if the service has been good. So you should share out among them about 15% of the total price. Last but not least, don't insult Atatürk, you know. It's not forbidden to criticize uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk in Turkey, you know, the founding father, but by the law it's forbidden to insult him, you know, or anyone else for that matter. Now, your freedom of speech concept might contain freedom to insult certain symbols or people, but in some countries, you know, it was decided that some sensibility is better not to be disturbed. Now, the vast majority of Turkish people absolutely love Atatürk, and you will find pictures, statues, flags of him, like, everywhere. He's everywhere. If you want people to treat you nicely and like you, I would advise you not to insult their beloved uh, founding father. Now, Turkey is a fantastic country with great people, and if you follow these tips, I'm sure you will have a fantastic time. 